Hi, this is Stacy Chalemi, and today I'd like to talk to you about pain and inflammation. Pain is caused a lot of times by inflammation, and it's because the body is trying to bring awareness to tell you that something is going on, that there's an underlying cause in a specific area of your body, that your body is not functioning the way it should. A lot of times it's a good idea to get an, go to the doctor and get a diagnosis and find out what the underlying cause is, the reason why you're getting the inflammation and you're getting the pain in specific parts of the body. Now, a lot of times doctors will prescribe conventional medications and that may help short term, but it also can cause problems in the future. Uh, a lot of medications sometimes long, taken long term could cause other illnesses or other problems in the body. And even over-the-counter medications like ibuprofen can cause stomach ulcers if used for more than five days. So you may want to consider trying to figure out what the underlying cause is and then do things to try to help your body heal itself. One of the things that you can make yourself do is give yourself time to get more sleep. Sleep is very important to help renew the body to heal itself. You can also make sure that you're eating the right types of food. Stay away from food that has a high sodium content because high sodium causes inflammation and can cause more pain to the areas that are bothering you. It could also cause stiffness of the joints and other problems in your body. So you want to make sure that you're staying away from high sodium foods. Make sure that you drink a lot of water also to flush out any sodium and to flush out any, any toxins in your body so you can help with the decrease in the inflammation. Omega-3 is also a very good supplement to take and it's a fatty acid that you can find also in fish and this is also very good for decreasing the inflammation. A lot of people take it in capsule form and that's something that you also could do. Another thing that you could do too is take an Epsom salt bath. Epsom salt baths help to relieve inflammation. They help to relieve the body of any types of um, pain and it can temporarily decrease the pain in your body and make you feel better. A lot of people tend to like to use Epsom salts with different um, herbs in them. I like Dr. Teal. Uh, Dr. Teal is natural and it has a lot of different um, herbs that it offers. And one of the things that a lot of people like to do is when they take one, um, an Epsom salt bath, um, Dr. Teal also makes one specifically for pain. And you could also mix one in for lavender. It, it's very common, very relaxing. And taking 15 minutes in the bathtub to put yourself in these Epsom salts could actually do a lot of good for you. Now for herbs, some of the herbs that you might want to try is turmeric. Turmeric has curcumin in, in it. And curcumin is great for the decrease of inflammation. It's been used for thousands of years, and it, some people will put it in their food when they're cooking. Other people will take it in capsule form. And if you take it in capsule form, make sure that you read the directions so you know how much to take and you don't take more than you're supposed to. And some people also drink it in tea. There's a lot of different natural and organic teas that offer turmeric and curcumin in their tea, and it tastes really good. Also, another thing that you might want to consider is using the herb ashwanda. Ashwanda is very good for you. It also helps with a decrease of inflammation. And another herb is boswella. Boswella is very good for you, and it helps with a decrease of inflammation. A company that I like to use is Eutheri. Um, they make one specifically for the joints, and it helps to uh, decrease the inflammation. I had suggested it to one of my clients, and they had came back to me and told me that it helped tremendously with their um, with their pain in their joints. Um, it has, I believe, cinnamon in it, uh, boswella, and turmeric in it. 
and she was always in front of the computer and her fingers were always wrapped around her ma her mouse and she was noticing a lot of inflammation in her fingers and her mobility was becoming uh, less and less. She, she, our fingers were becoming very stiff and hard to use and that helped her and probably the, tum the, tum the turmeric and the Boswellar were the two ingredients that probably helped her with the decrease of the inflammation. Now, um, these are some of the things that you can do to decrease your inflammation. I hope I helped you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box. Also, if you like this video, click like and also subscribe to our videos. We'd love to have you um, listen to some future videos that we do, we do on a daily basis. And this way we could help you and help you learn how to heal your body naturally and keep your health top notch.